ho, ho, ho. And it is summer again. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. It's been wild weather we were having. We had like a four inch snowstorm last week. Then it was 27 degrees on the weekend. And now we had snow yesterday and it's seven degrees today. And it's supposed to warm up this time and stay warm. So Jay is on his way with his freshie machine. Finally, it's been like a month now, maybe been sitting in his garage he's been putting all the parts on doing a new build and i'm just over here burning boxes because why not right um and also i think my machine might be sold so i don't want to jinx or anything but uh i put it up for a fairly big price just because i didn't really care if i got rid of it if someone wanted it whatnot and there's like probably 30 grand in parts on it plus it's the only street legal one around so that's why I figured I'll just charge, you know, pretty much what I paid for it. So, but, uh, and then, yeah, I was getting some hits here and there. And then yesterday I listed it in Toronto. And for the price, I just put one, two, three, four. And people are like, oh, I'll take it for 800 bucks. I'm like, for a deposit? <laughs> and then a few people chimed in. And uh, some guys said it'll take it. But until the check is in hand, yeah, we'll see. So, and then I got to find another one. I want to get an XRS this time. That one's a DS. So anyways, Jay should be here any minute. I'm just gonna burn a few more things and uh, I'm gonna make this fire pit smaller. <laughs> it's way too big. Every summer I get a little crazy and have a massive fire just because why not? So anyways, he'll be here in a few minutes and we'll keep her going. Can't wait to see that thing at Dirty. The Jaybird has arrived, razor blade. Oh, he's got his summer tires back on. I wonder if he likes black and red. I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Look at this thing, way too clean. I don't even want to take it off the trailer. I think we should just leave it. Just leave it in the garage. That's a show machine right there. Ooh. Where's he going? Where are you going? I'm just walking around picking up shrapnel off all these damn cars. I hit a lawn chair in the winter and I totally regret it. it exploded everywhere. Oh, a little Team LTD. <sighs> Look at this thing. Hey, right, take it back. Put it back in the garage. It's too new. It's too freaking clean. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Only gonna be that clean once. I know. Get him. Oh, he's got some freshy merch going. Check it out. Ooh, if anyone wants that sweater, she's available in the link below. And even match it to your hat. That's nice. I like this one. Also, if you want to enter in for any giveaways, once you click on the merch store, a little pop-up will appear. You just throw your email in there and you're entered in for all future giveaways. You might even even give this away. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to need about 30 million views. <laughs> All right, what's your plan? No donuts, no donuts. No, donuts. no we're gonna put some heat in the belt and then I'll send it. Yeah. Hey, no blowing belts today. No, not today. Hey. <laughs> you wanna pick up plastic with me? It's a great time. Yeah, I was bored, you are taking too long. Now you know, well you got it, you know? This place doesn't freaking look this good by itself. All right, let's get around low and go for a rip. Fire away. You gotta take that little butt plug out of there. We gotta take that uh, spark arrestor out. Uh, four weeks, my exhaust should be here. Four weeks. Four to 12 months, eh? Uh, all right. I can't believe you managed to fit this on this trailer. Oh, man. Classic. Oh, it's just so shiny. So shiny. Uh, look at it. Look at it. It'll never be this clean. Nope. Let me snap a few pictures before you get it real dirty. Yeah. Oh. I took one at home. I think you need a longer trailer. I know. <laughs> Oof. Jay's first four-seater. I'm not used to driving a bus. I know, eh? You got a big old ass on you. Those speakers freaking thump. We would play music, but you know, the whole copyright thing with uh, YouTube, but trust me, if you've seen it on my story, I'll post it again on my story, but it's freaking loud. And he's got door speakers, the stock player's door speakers. He didn't even hook them up because uh, the boss audio system is so freaking loud already. Look <laughs> how long that thing is. That is class. It's 
It's gonna take a while to get used to drifting this thing, That's eh? Huge. Just drifting the school bus. I feel like it's so big. Uh, so we got the Bull 8 rims. These were actually the rims that were supposed to go on my machine, but they uh, ended up being Polaris rims, so they didn't fit. But uh, I do have a new set, and we put them on the studded tires. So if you haven't seen the studded tire videos, I feel that you should go check those out. But yeah, this is the system. So we got the two boat speakers right here. And then the speakers down, down below here. And then we got the aux beam switch right here. It basically runs the rock lights and whips right now. And then those are the stock player speakers and they're not even hooked up, right? We need to figure out maybe... maybe try I feel like you don't even need them. But, this know, thing's so freaking loud already. So, but yeah. How many K we got on this? 1.1 1 .1 now. 1.1. 1 .1. 1 .1. So, yeah. we're just, before we get riding here, we're going to show you a quick little install of uh, the Boss Audio system going in. And now we're going to go for a rip. All right, here we go. Hey guys, how's it going? Razor J here from uh, Team 408. So today's a good day. We got ourselves a new machine. A 2022 Polaris Razor XB1000 Premium. What a weapon. So today is a very exciting day. We get to uh, start installing some parts on this baby. It's got 0.6 of a mile. So it's pretty fresh, be good to work on. Everything's nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna start, I think maybe, we have so much stuff here and there's even more stuff to come. Uh, we're gonna try to get the Super ATV three inch lift uh, started. So we'll see how that works. Um, I gotta move some stuff around here, get some uh, boxes down. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take you along for the journey. Mark is not here as he has gone to Mud Nats. So we are just trying to uh, start this build while he's gone so yeah keep watching and uh hope you enjoy well we got the front tires off i can't believe how nice this is it's been a long time since i've seen something this clean but i'm sure it won't be like this for forever um yeah so we got the front tires off so we're gonna take the front suspension off and then we're gonna try to get in there to put our bracket in and that's gonna give us our lift. So we got the bracket unveiled. This thing is super heavy duty, like it's so heavy. So that's gonna change our shock mounting location. So it puts them straight, almost not as straight up, but it's more straight up than factory. front shocks back on it actually went together really really good um the instructions are really good for this uh, it shows you where to put your spacers up here um and then uh whatever else you need for hardware up there um so we have our limit strap here but obviously it goes on that bolt there so i gotta put the machine down it'll compress the suspension and then we'll put our limit strap on and uh, we'll be good for the front. Okay guys, here's a little trick. Uh, if you can't get it to compress to get your limit strap on your lower shock bolt, um, I just use the ratchet strap. Um, there's a hole up here and then you can go down, down on the lower A arm. And it literally took me a couple cranks and then this thing just slides right on. All right, guys, the whole front end is buttoned back up. I think we're sitting at 16 and a half inches of ground clearance. Um, I have to adjust. Once I ride it, it'll sag a bit. Then I have to readjust it up. But so far, I like the, hey, Benny, I like the height, so. All right, let's dive into this puppy. Oh, one hand.
yeah, so it's nice and big. It'll fit in there very nicely. Like I said, I've run this on my old machine and I've never had any problems. This thing does a great job. So this is what your stock filter looks like. Like it doesn't even come close to filling that whole air box. So I want the maximum filtration. So this is why this thing's way bigger than our stock one. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off of there just like that. And set that aside. So I always put a bit of grease. I got some Bell Ray grease here. Um, I always like to put a bit of grease on the outside of that. Again, to stop any dirt from going into your motor. So, so we're gonna go ahead and prop this in there. It's gonna fit in there just like that. See how it fills the whole box? That's kind of what you want, so. It fills that whole box up very nicely. So if you've noticed, the stock one does not come with a clamp. It's just like a some kind of rubber seal here. So it's not, I don't think it's on there very tight. So this is on there super tight, so it's not coming off. And again, I put grease before I put this on, just to minimize any dust from going into your motor. I'm gonna put, uh, Put these babies on, they're an uh, inch and a half. Super ATV wheel spacers. All made out of aluminum. These things are intense. I have them on my other machine. Work great again. They go on super easy. Gives you extra width. And they look awesome. We just, uh, just finished putting the spacers on. That looks sweet. Okay, we got the front done. Now we got the rears on. Man, that looks sick. So we got a nice little package here from Boss Audio Systems. They teamed up with us for a crazy surround sounds system for the force here. So this should be should be interesting. I guess it really really pumps the music. So it'll be it'll be good to have it in here and try it out and see how it holds up in the trails. We got the uh, little screen that it, it comes with. We got a couple banners. Big banners. Whoa. All kinds of stuff in here. I'm going to dig into this uh, a little deeper. So we got most of our panels out. We got the seats out. We got the dash piece all the way out we have to take this glove box out because the sub is going to sit right there um and because we have ride command our screen is going to mount where that dash was so i'm going to be losing both of my glove compartments but that doesn't matter because we have this massive box back here so that'll be all right all right so we got chris and chris here helping out the leaf game currently. So Chris, Chris Sounds number great. one's got the, the sub mounted in there, partially. Got the wires all routed out to the battery. Is this a good height for the speaker, Jay? It's a great height. Yes. Can you reach it? I can reach it. Yeah. So we, can't reach it. Yeah. So we <laughs> discovered, so there is a right and left speaker. So make sure when you read the instructions, wherever they are, um, that you, uh, you put the right on the right and the left on the left, because we had them the wrong way, so... Yeah, there is a there is a difference. Okay, we're gonna continue carrying it on. We got the two front ones. We're trying to get the leaf skate on. Hey? Yeah. It's not available for live streaming. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, time to install the whips that the Boss Audio sent us. They're right here. These things are beautiful. Leaves are just smoking them right now. How's it going, Chris? Good. Getting the panel in there. Yeah. Doing a little bit of fine, fine tuning. That's it. We'll get her. Oh, we're watching the leaves, eh? Right there. So Chris has been going hard here. Got the whips all mounted up. They look sweet. We might take the flags off. We'll put them on when we go back to the dunes, but yeah, they look. The Boss Audio flag on. I know. I think that's what they are. Boss Audio. Oh, they're not Canada flags? Yeah, no, they're not Canada flags. Oh, well, they're going to want you to run on the 
Yeah, we're, we'll run the boss audio flag for a bit. <laughs> All right. So the power's gonna go on now. This is it. Yeah, so we're just finishing up. Chris is getting the power going here. Accessory panel. Chris is getting the yeah, USBs everywhere. He's in making this thing. holes everywhere in yeah. my new machine. <laughs> you handed me the drill bit. That's true. It'll be good. <laughs> So yeah, so we got all the wiring done. Everything's loose right now. We just want to make sure everything works before we put everything back together. But yeah, she came together pretty she good. Trust anything we do. I do trust Jeez. everybody. The whole, the whole wire isn't even permanently yet. Oh no. Right we got to make sure it turns on first. <laughs> all right, there's stuff everywhere. Sure. Just <laughs> chirping. So yeah, we got everything buttoned up down here. Everything is really plug and play. Speakers, subs. You can't even see the sub. It's perfect. So we're just gonna button things back up and it's like 11.30, so I don't know if we'll turn it on, but. So here it is right here. So it's got, I got stuff out of the box here, so I've already dug into it. So we have this little control panel here that's gonna control all of our accessories. We have eight different settings. You can run eight different things on here. And I believe it is light sensitive too, so it knows when it's dark, when it's light out. So I've just been messing around here with some wiring. So we will be installing this tonight. Um, so far, we only have our whips from Boss Audio, which are right there. So we will be wiring them tonight. Uh, I'm just waiting on a couple light bars from Oxbeam. So we need a front light bar and we're going to get a rear light bar, which I'm going to mount up there in the middle. So when I'm backing up or somebody's uh, chasing me, they'll be able to see where I am. Okay, so we're going to try to get this in here. I found the perfect spot where it can sit right in there. So we're going to go, they send you a couple, couple different brackets. Um, but we're going to go with this big one here. And it's gonna work perfect. So it's gonna sit and this that lines up perfectly over there. So I'm gonna use those two screws. We're gonna mount this here on that plate. This is where we're at right now. So we figured out that our little fuse panel is gonna go right in the middle which worked all great we got everything hooked up we got our little uh breaker right there everything works great tons of room on this one so yeah so we hooked everything up mounted the little uh selector down here i'll turn it on to show you guys so i only have a couple couple accessories right now we're just waiting on a whole bunch more so we're just gonna show you what we got going on here. Do the whips, and bam, turn the lights off. Look at these things. Oh yeah, those are awesome, eh? Yeah. They're like heavy duty whips too, like they're nice. Like yeah, they're, it's gonna look good on the trail. They're pretty heavy duty, like they're, yeah. And they're all like quick disconnect too, like perfect wiring is right here. So I have to button everything up, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it even smells fresh, that exhaust. Woo. Oh yeah, can't wait to put the Scotio drone in the sky. And got some cool shots ripping around the track. Getting her warmed up, getting the belt warmed up. I'll go for a little rippy. The slowest I've ever seen him drive. Will he get hung up here? Oh, I hear a little scrub, a little scrub. I bet this last one I might run. Oh, there my, oh, there goes his hatch. We should probably secure that hatch down in the back. All right, let's put the drone in the sky and uh, rip the nuts off this thing. There we 
I was using the beacon and my phone that time, but we are dead, so it's GoPro time. Mud everywhere, right? Everywhere already. <laughs> Let's go. So much fun in this thing. So different, the old four-seater. It's a little longer. It looks so good, that red looks good. There he is! Woo! Yeah, those bull eight ribs, they definitely uh, match well. Oh, you happy with your purchase? I am happy. Yeah. I've never, it's my, obviously my first four-seater. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's uh, working yeah, well? It's, uh, everything's working really good, man. So, I guess we'll say a big thanks to uh, Bolite Wheels for the nice rims. Everything matches perfectly with my whole theme in my head. It came together. <laughs> but these guys made it happen. Your plan worked well. A big, uh, big thanks also to the Boss Audio for the, the sound system. And the whips. The I didn't whips. realize they made whips, but yeah. they make whips now. Yeah, it's gonna Oops, oh, sorry. Is it a little good in the dark. Yeah, obviously they're not uh, plugged in right now. They're just strapped down for for putting in the garage. But yeah, so, uh, uh, night ride. Usually, I'll I'll just cut my tire off and put them on, and we'll have some light. You need the old uh, Amazon uh, Velcro, Velcro things. things. I actually might have some at the house, but uh, yeah, I know this thing uh, turned out amazing, and there is still more stuff to come. But uh, yeah, we're missing still a few things, but it had to come out of the garage. It was time, eh? It was time to get it out. Uh, there. There's too much time sitting in it. And, Hanging out in the garage, having too many lattes. Uh. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without everybody helping. Even Super ATV, we got obviously Bull Light, Boss Audio. I got MBRP exhaust coming. We have a Super ATV windshield coming still. Everything just came together. We have uh, Ox Beam uh, switch, which I want one for my truck now. <laughs> and those things are a game changer. Uh, Everything sure. came together. She worked well, eh? She works good. There's the aux beam switch once again right there. This so. thing has all the screens. I know, so many, right? Uh, Anyways, we're going to be in Michigan in, uh, when, on the 9th? 9th and 10th. 9th we'll and 10th. Monday, Tuesday, I think it is? Somewhere around Traverse City, Michigan. Yeah, so maybe we'll put up a story a few days before, and maybe we can do a fan meetup for a little ride. But yeah. uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out Bull Light, aux beam, Super ATV, Boss Audio. And uh, all the links below. Get yourself some fresh merch there. She's looking good. These uh, camo sweaters are actually limited edition. Uh, we're only doing 25, and I know we've sold a whole bunch already. Yeah. I don't know where mine is. I forgot it today. I'm so rocking Get them the, while they're hot. The here. Get them while they're hot. Yeah. So thank you guys again. Thank you, Jay. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.